from, wait for it, septictank.co.uk. And you can see loads more live broadcasts like this one if you go to Septic Tank TV. Yeah, I, do you know what? I almost forgot the name of my own TV channel there. Septic Tank TV. If you want to watch more TV, go to Septic Tank TV. TV, and you can see more of me. There you go. How about that? Got there in the end. Anyway, in this live broadcast today, I thought I'd just talk for a few minutes about septic tank versus sewage treatment plants. All right. So I suppose we could put septic tanks versus sewage treatment plants. So what's the difference between a septic tank and a sewage treatment plant? What's best? septic tank or sewage treatment plant. So I thought I'd just give a basic overall picture of um, the difference between the two and which is the best. How about that? So let me get my rubber here. Here we go. All right. It's all right. God, it's hot outside today, I tell you. It's like 85 degrees, so I thought. Flipping egg. I'm not going to go out there. Flipping mad dogs and Englishmen or what? So I thought I'd come in here today and... Oh, it's cool in here, I tell you, but not that cool. Anyway, so let me show you the difference between a septic tank and a sewage treatment plant. So let's start with a septic tank. So let me draw a septic tank. So we'll call that look septic tank. All right, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? So there's we've got an inlet pipe going into it, and we've got, in fact, let me just do that a bit further down, and we've got a septic tank going out of it all right okay so let me give it some grass not the stuff you smoke let me give it some green grass look at that all right some green grass okay and uh, i don't know if grass is any color, different color is it well it, actually the bra grass outside is brown today because it's been so hot but anyway so here's a septic tank and that's water and I'll put that there. You'll see where I'm going with this in a minute. And I know, don't tell me you're amazed at my uh, drawing skills, I know. All right, so there's a septic tank. There's the soak away. That's the soak away. There you go, that's not too bad, is it? Okay, so, so let me just, quickly explain how a septic tank works okay so you've got raw sewage in the form of wastewater goes into the septic tank okay and then it fills the septic tank up all right then when it gets to this level here all right let's just put, make it a bit higher the wastewater then goes into the soak away here and then drains away into the soil so that's how a septic tank works. The so soak away is probably the most important component of the septic tank because if the water didn't soak away, right, the tank would just get full and then it would overflow and it would stink and back up to the house. So, so that's how a septic tank and soak away work. I'll tell you a little bit more about this thing here in a minute. So the basic difference is with a septic tank, you've got raw, raw sewage goes in and you've got raw sewage out so that's basically it right raw sewage goes in and raw sewage goes out and the soil in fact let me put that there and change colors hold on uh, so the soil treats and cleans the sewage it's pretty straightforward isn't it okay so that is number one if I put number one there all right so I'll put number one septic tank okay that's cool isn't it okay so I got the right pens there all right so number two now okay so number two so now I'm going to show you how much space have I got there. I keep looking back because I've got a, a monitor there. It tells me when, you know, if I go out of the kind of area. So here, now I'm going to do a sewage. Treatment plant. All right. So again, we've got pretty much the same scenario here. We've got a pipe coming in. 
But I'm going to give the sewage treatment plant a different colour because they, they're normally green for some reason. Don't ask me why they're all green, but they are. And it looks something like, uh, let's give you a typical shape of a sewage treatment plant. I know that looks like something out of Close Encounters of the Third Kind, but it's not meant to be, right? That's what some of them look like, okay? So you've got your pipe in, you've got your pipe out, and then let me cut. Now here's the grass. You've got a green lid because it blends in with the grass. How much have I got there for, for water there? Yeah, I've just got enough. That's water in there. And is that on the screen? Yes, okay, so that's on the screen. So, okay, so. So we'll call that outlet pipe. There you go, okay. So what happens with a sewage treatment plant is raw sewage goes in, raw sewage goes in. So you get raw sewage coming into here, right? So here's the raw sewage, look. Oh, must had it coming into the wrong place, hold on, two secs. Oh, let's try again. So raw sewage goes in, it goes into here, and inside these treatment plants, you've got like, what they call like a beehive. And they look something like that. And you've got a motor, so they've got a motor, and they'll have um, a compressor. And basically what happens, they're like a big aquarium, really. So all the raw sewage goes in, right? And the aquarium, <laughs> the aquarium, the sewage treatment plant's like an aquarium. So loads of water, it basically creates loads of bubbles and loads of noise and loads of fusion and loads of movement and all that kind of, all those bubbles and stuff, right? Give the bacteria and the microbes in there loads of energy, right? And those bacteria and the microbes, they eat all the bad stuff in the sewage. So they eat the sewage. So raw sewage goes in, but clean water comes out. And so here's the outlet pipe. So the clean water can come out of there and go into a water course, like a river, a stream, a brook, a ditch, whatever you've got there. So essentially, essentially, right, if I just do a dividing line, right, that's the difference between a septic tank and a sewage treatment plant. All right, so that's how they work. That's cool, isn't it, right? That's really cool how they work, right? So, now I've shown you how they work, what's the best, a septic tank or a sewage treatment plant? Well, <laughs> it depends the situation you find yourself in. Okay, so let me give you two classic examples. Right? On the 1st of January 2020, all the rules and regulations in this country regarding septic tanks are changing. So, if your septic tank, and many of them do, discharges into a water course or is close to a water course, this will become illegal on the 1st of January 2020, okay? So many people will have to replace their sept septic tank in favor of a sewage treatment plant. Because remember, raw sewage goes into a septic tank and raw sewage comes out, all right? And you have to wait for the soil to treat and clean that sewage. So it has to go through the land and through the fields and eventually it makes its way into streams and rivers, but it's been treated and cleaned. So the, the ground, the land, treats all the horrible stuff in sewage, right? So it's a long drawn out process as it filters through the soil, right? With a sewage treatment plant, as I said, you've got compressors and motors and pulleys and belts and shafts and cogs and motors and electricity and pipes and wires yes it uses electricity and yes they are expensive to run every year but 
they turn that raw sewage into clean water and that clean water can then discharge directly into a water course. So if you live near a water course, then obviously you go for a sewage treatment plant because you're not endangering the life of your family, you're not polluting the environment or doing anything crazy like that, okay? So that would be the sewage system of choice. However, all right, so, so that's basically the difference between the two. If you don't live by a water course, right, and you don't live by a river or stream, say the stream's, I don't know, half a mile away, quarter of a mile away, then this is overkill, right? You don't need one of these because it's like you can have a tractor, can't you? You could take the kids to school in a tractor. They'd love it, man. They'd really love going to school in a tractor, but it's overkill. You just need a normal car or have been, I don't know, four by four, something like that, take the kids to school. But see, a tractor is unnecessary. And it's the same with this. If you don't live by a water course or a stream, then you don't need to spend all the money out like 1500 quid a year on electricity bills and 300 quid a year to have it service you don't need to do that if you don't live by a water course so a septic tank and a soak away is going to be fine for you in that regard now i just want to throw a curveball into the mix here i just want to throw a curveball into the mix many people are being quoted 15 20 30 000 quid to replace their septic tank and soak away if they live near a water course in favor of a sewage treatment plant. Now, how much do these sewage treatment plants cost? Well, all right, so they can be quite cheap if you've got a one or two bedroom house, but once you start getting onto a three to four bedroom house, once you start incorporating flipping heck, five, six, seven, eight, nine people, I mean, some of these bio digesters you can be looking at paying flaming hell, 15, 15 to flipping 25 grand for easy peasy pudding and pie. So, you know, so that, so how much does a septic tank on and the soak away cost? Well, I sell septic tank and soak away kits on my site and they're 1499, so they're like 13,000, 23,000 quid cheaper than that. So there's a hell of a price difference between the two, to be honest. Not that I'm demonizing sewage treatment plants because they're very good in certain circumstances, but I just want to give you a little tip now. Just let me give you this little tip. Right. All right. Okay. So if you've got a septic tank and a soak away that's near a water course, you don't necessarily have to replace it for a 15 to 20,000 quid system. All you need to do is this. What's this? All right. So let's say this pipe here was discharging into the water course. And yes, I know it's going to be illegal, but this is all you need to do. Right. What's this? All you need to do is put in something called a septic tank converter. They're a non-electric unit. They're a little black unit like this, right? They're non-electrical, they're government approved. All the raw sewage goes into it, like that. And clean, beautiful water comes out of it. And how much do they cost, the septic tank converters? Well, let me tell you this. They're nowhere near 15 or 20 or 30 grand, right? They cost, let me give you this, right? They cost 2999. So yes, they're 12,000 quid cheaper than the cheapest quote you're gonna get for a sewage treatment plant. And they're gonna be 22,000 quid cheaper. So for me personally, Personally, I've been in the game for 20 years. I consult for the Environmental Agency in UK Building Regs and everyone. And I, I, I love helping people, you know, find cost-effective solutions to their septic tank and soak away problems. Point I'm trying to make is this, right? If I had a bit of land and I had a septic tank go straight into a water course, I'd just put a septic tank converter in because they're non-electrical. They can't break down. They don't need servicing every year. They're, they work on like venturi suction. So they suck air in and exhale air and the bacteria in there eat and treat everything, converting it into safe, clean, organic waste water. They're amazing. They really are amazing. So. Given the choice between spending 15 to 25 to 30 grand on an electric system that breaks down after the year's warranty is over and having to spend 1,000 to 1,500 quid a year on electricity costs and having to spend 300 quid a year getting them serviced, for me, these are becoming like old dinosaurs. I'm not demonizing electric sewage treatment plants. I'm not. I'm just saying they're old technology. New technology is moving on and there's the government are approving non-electric systems now 
that don't break down, that are government approved and will clean your water, they'll protect your family, they'll stop pollution and protect the environment. So for me, if there's no water course about, I'll put a septic tank and soak away in any day, right? Because there's no fame in maintenance of them, especially if you put some of the septic tank soak away worms in that we do. And worst case scenario, to make my septic tank fully legal in lieu of the septic tank, new rules and regulations that are coming to force, I just put a septic tank converter and save myself 15, put in 20 grand, easy. So there you go, that's the difference between a septic tank and a domestic sewage treatment plant. So I hope this live broadcast has helped you today. If you want to see more free advice and information, then just go to septictank.co.uk or just go to Septic Tank TV. Just go to Google and type in Septic Tank TV and you'll see more of me and you can watch more TV, you know. And um, But the point is, there's loads of free information and advice on there to help you. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this live broadcast today. Hope you have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.